Hi loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I'm so grateful to be here and read for you. Thank you for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you like to book a personal reading, all of my info is in the description box below. If you're new here, please know that I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. But I do like to start with tapping into the energies that I'm feeling for you right now, Libra, for this time frame. And what Spirit is saying is to be patient when you speak during this time because your tongue can be very sharp or you can find yourself stumbling over your words, even choking. Okay, so, so slow down a little bit, Libra, okay? I'm feeling some pent up emotions from some of you as well, so you need to find ways to release and we'll, we'll get into that um, maybe you know, doing some chakra work, chakra balancing and cleansing, uh, even going for walks, meditation, whatever it is going to get, whatever is going to create an outlet for you to move past this pent up energy that you are feeling. Um, I'm also feeling like you need to express yourself to someone. It feels like I could feel like a little blockage in the throat area. It feels like something has been left unsaid. And that this is a time that you need to express how you're feeling, whether that is your wants or your needs. It is time to let that go. It's kind of, you know, just 86 yourself from that energy, okay? I do see you, um, some of you as well, gaining notoriety during this time. And that could be recognized by your boss, your peers, family, or friends. Or if you're working to be an influencer, um, influencer on social media, um, take advantage of the hype. Okay, so this can even show up as um, your business being recognized and you begin bringing in more clientele. So if you've been slow, this is a time where the momentum is going to pick up and you're going to see more uh, profit coming in for you if you are a business owner. Okay, and something something is um, I'm hearing something is dying off. Okay, so could it be that that could be a relationship? a job, an emotion that you're feeling, feelings uh, from the past, feelings that you have with someone, something is definitely dying off. So we're going to hop into your reading. I'm going to pull all of your, your tarot cards soon after your pre-shuffle here of your oracle cards, and then we'll clarify each tarot card. So I had two angel numbers that came out for you. So if you're seeing 0330, this is about lucky, uh, a lucky shift that's happening. This is about love, peace, hope, and optimism, transferring responsibility to others, which is something that some of you have a hard time doing is delegating. Um, this is about progress and creativity, which is very important because we're going to talk about what chakra you can work on and creativity has is, is definitely connected to the chakra. 0330 means that pursue your goals and get what you want. Uh, it will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. See, I feel like this energy points towards um, some of you are stepping into this platform of gaining notoriety. So if you are an influencer, I do feel like there could be an energy for you for your account to take off. You know, you just gaining more accounts, um, more likes, more follows, more shares. Um, and so I feel like there's a there's a, a big platform for you to really take advantage of during this time. Your other number is 0110. And this is about your belief system. This is about you going after what you want. This is a, a unique energy. This is about destiny, inspiration, talents, gifts, which we know you have a lot of those, Libra. Appreciation and gratitude. So remembering to be in gratitude for all of the, all of the things you already have. You're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Okay, this is what I'm saying here with this notoriety. So, you know, if you have been thinking of starting a business or a project, this is the time to do it to create that momentum to make it to make it into something lucrative and successful. Um, embrace what makes you different, Libra. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. Okay, so those are your two angel numbers here. 0330 0110. Okay, that could be three 
30, 110. Okay, but those are your those are your numbers. Lucky shifts and belief systems. And then a chakra that you can focus on during this time frame is the um, solar plexus is very important. Okay, is is something that you can focus focus on. Building a creativity. The number three, 21 breaks down to three, is about creativity, about connection. So building confidence, building esteem, self-love, self-worth, pride. I'm also feeling you're needing to get out in nature and ground. Some of you have probably been isolated, secluded in some sort of way. You need some sunshine. But this is a growing period for you. So definitely take advantage of of the planetary shifts that we're um, undergoing that we're currently in. Mercury is in rec retrograde until April 25th. We just had the new moon in Aries as well as the total solar eclipse that was on the 8th. And then March 25th, we had um, Libra, new, a, a full moon in Libra, and that was a partial lunar eclipse. So this is eclipse season and eclipse seasons tend to go for six months at a time. So take advantage of this and um, it's not often that total solar eclipse has come around. So really jump on this energy and whatever it is that you have been putting off or afraid to jump into Libra, this is an opportunity for you to create a great momentum and a shift for the things that you are wanting to take off with. Okay, so working on your solar plexus, your solar plexus is um, right in the pit of your stomach, like three inches above your navel. So working on that area, you know, you can eat yellow foods, wear yellow colors, bring yellow flowers into your home, like sunflowers or daisies, you know, um, getting some sunshine. So if you're in warmer areas, you can go out to the beach, let the sun hit you and do everything with intention. Okay. Crystals that you can work with during this month, two cards came out. We have clear quartz and your affirmation is, I am clear, I'm a clear channel of love and light and, and well-being. And all of my heart's desires are realized now. So clear quartz is a great stone to work with. This can help you multiply goodness and well-being, amplify your loving and kindness, and increase clarity, peace, and understanding, and help you improve clarity of your mind and your emotions. And right now, that is something that you are needing um, as you may have pent up energy. You may have things that are dying off. You know, you're completing a cycle for some of you. You're moving on to something bigger and better. Okay. So clear quartz is one of the stones that you can work with. The other is rhodonite. Your affirmation here is my mental and emotional bodies are balanced. I attract nurturing people. And this stone can help you. It really connects to that heart space is what I'm feeling, getting that pink energy from there. It, it'll help you release heartache, there we go, grief and sorrows or past relationships, which is some of you are grieving that or this, something's dying off or you're needing to let something go. This is going to help you encourage lightheartedness and joy, which you're needing right now. Restore the balance of confidence and emotions. And we just pulled the self-esteem card. Your chakra that you're working on is the sacral chakra that's going to help you build that confidence. So clear quartz and rhodonite are good stones to work with during this time. And a message that you can consider during this time is working through your fears. Okay, what do you need to work through here? All right, because some things are definitely coming up, whatever it is that you've been holding on to for a while. Some some of you, this has been since childhood. And for some of you, this feels like a relationship that you've been dealing with, something that you're needing to let go of, you need to talk about. Um, we'll see what else comes up for you. Your overall energy for this month is the Ace of Fire. Okay, and this is about inspiration, about, you know, power, like restoring your power, finding your power, you getting creative. And that creativity is going to come in the form of you working on that solar plexus as well. So if some of you are having gut issues, part of this is that your your, your chakras are imbalanced, okay? But this Ace of Fire is an opportunity for new inspiration to a new beginnings to unfold for you. There's a lot of potential with this energy with the Ace of Fire. So, um, it is one of the most primal energies of expression as well. So this is why I feel like those of you who are holding on to something are really needed to talk about it. But also you're needing to be very gentle and patient with yourself and the person you need to speak to. Because again, I feel that your, your tongue can be very sharp. You can choke. You can choke up on your words. 
Um, so get very clear about what it is that you want to say. Okay, some of you could even be increasing your libido. Your libido could be increasing your because your vitality is 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 more um, um, in alignment in alignment with. Um, I don't. What am I trying to say? I'll just say you that you might find yourself with an an increased libido during this time where you're feeling excited about about life, about a person, something, okay? <laughs> so that Ace of Fire is there. It's an exciting new opportunity. As I said, this could also mean career advancements for some of you. Like I said, the notoriety. So take advantage of this time. And there's going to be some sort of change. We've already talked about shifts. We, you know, we, we pulled that um, 0330 angel number, which this is about shifts, about changes, okay? So I feel like there's an energy where you can kind of sit back. You're taking action, Libra, but I also feel like, I feel like this is action you've already done. You've already taken the steps to get here, and now it's going to be uh, a situation where you feel successful and happy in, okay? But there is a new beginning that's coming for you. So if some of you have been feeling down and out and things have just been down in, in the dumps for you, this is going to be a new beginning that is going to be sparked for you. I'm going to read a little bit about the Ace of Fire, which says an exciting new opportunity shows up in your life. Creative and inspiring career possibilities are coming into view. Now is the time to completely embrace new adventures that present themselves. Go for it. Innovative ideas should be enthusiastically pursued. This is a good time as, as any to take risk in order to follow your dreams. If you want to change your life, do it now. And additional meanings for this is starting a new business, job offers or promotions are on the table, exciting new information, self-expression, and a fresh start. Okay, so this definitely points to a lot of new beginnings, um, which is exciting. And I'm sure most of us especially <laughs> have been looking for some excitement and a little bit of um, alignment, clarity, um, progression after experiencing the um, COVID pandemic, okay, things have been a little um, um, imbalanced since then, okay, and, and that, that that's starting with people in their mind, body, and spirit, okay, so let's get your cards out, you already have one fly out here, all right, Okay, so we have the High Priestess, the World, the Sun, the Nine of Swords, and the Lovers. So we have a lot of major arcanas here. <laughs> Out of six cards, there are three. One, two, three, four. Four. Four major arcanas. So there's a lot of shifts that are happening for you, Libra. Okay, so let's, let's dive into this, see what I'm feeling see what's coming up here. So we have that Ace of Fire as your overall energy that a new a new start is coming. Some of you are, you know, tapping into your spiritual side, your wisdom, may even be seeking counsel to um, to start something new. So maybe you could be starting a business in the um, the occult world or metaphysical metaphysics, wellness, something that is like is, is, is it helps it helps you and it helps other people. Okay. So stepping into that healing, light working um, energy really taking taking the taking the, your intuition the nudges the intuitive nudges taking those seriously so maybe you are working on meditation as well and really trying to focus on using your intuition because you are an air sign you can tend to be um, analytical or logical um, practical at times I know practicality is more of like an earth sign thing but I'm feeling the practicality coming up for you as well and some of you don't listen to your gut as often so you may be taking this knowledge that you're learning and really delving into um, the the world of mystery okay which is fun okay come and join me <laughs> come and join me in the world of mystery is amazing but you're really focusing on um, balance here okay so this is um, but I but as far as an obstacle here um, an obstacle or a challenge some of you may be having a hard time doing this a hard time trusting the instincts a hard time trusting that gut or that second mind with pe which people would say okay and I'm also feeling some of you are not even you've never believed in it or you don't believe it there's some skepticism that I'm feeling that's coming up from this high priestess as well when it comes to something okay so I'm gonna pull some cards around this and see what is coming up for you why is the high priestess here 
in the obstacle challenge position for Libra. We have the world. So it definitely feels like things are um, changing, but I feel like they're changing for the better. And some of you are being a bit resistant to the change that is happening. So uh, things that you were familiar or comfortable with, it looks different to you now. And some of you are afraid to walk away from something. Okay, this could be a person, a job, whatever it is that you have been doing has been a part of your life. It feels like now it's changing and you're like, I don't understand why it's changing because you're going through an awakening phase and the universe is working in your favor. And sometimes things are shooken up for you here, Libra. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if the tower came out where things can come crumbling down so that you can rebuild. But it just feels like a rebuilding phase. I feel like you're getting to the core of who you are and it's going to look different for you. It's going to look different in your friendships, your relationships in general, family and friends in your job, what you think about, how, what you put into your mouth, you know, you're going to start thinking differently if you're not already in this energy. But I do feel resistance that could be coming up with that. The King of Wands energy is here. So this is, this is someone who, like, when I think of the King of Wands, this is someone who's very adventurous. And I feel like you are so, you're all about the logistics that you feel like you're not allowing yourself to be free. Because the the King of Wands is someone who is very free. He's he he's he's got energy. He's very passionate, and I feel like you do have a lot of that. Like I feel like the King of Wands, you're embodying this energy. You're wanting to embody this energy, but something is stopping you. And I feel like it has something to do with your environment. It has something to do with where you how you were raised. Could be religion. Could be involved. Money can be involved where maybe you don't have enough money to invest in schooling to learn. That's why we have Google. It's free. Okay. So I feel like there is resistance coming up to you letting your world change. Okay. Because it's going to look unfamiliar and it's going to feel uncomfortable. So that fear of the unknown is what's coming up is what I'm feeling from this as well. But I do feel part of you, your spirit body is very, um, open to the change and wants to be receptive to the change but I think because your air energy you can get out of your mind the logistics and the analytics of how everything is going to line up because it needs to be that way and this is why spirit is asking you to go back to this high priestess energy and trust your intuition Pisces energy here so that's an obstacle that I feel like that may come up an obstacle or challenge for you is not really letting yourself feel and, uh, and respond from what you're feeling, okay, because you want to be, you know, ducks in a row, it has to be this way, it doesn't make sense to me, and intuition does not make sense to a lot of people, <laughs> because it's going against the ego, so it feels like you could be feeling ego driven at this point, and your intuition is trying to get you to soften up, soften up, which was the new phrase now, you're, it's time to be in your soft girl era, okay? <laughs> your soft girl era is important right now, and I, that's part of you um, attaining the unattainable, finding balance, tapping into your spiritual and psychic abilities, your intuition. That wisdom is, is already pouring into you, but you have to be open to it, okay? So there is a grand change. So some of you may already be on the precipice of this change. You may have already delved into this energy of like this new beginning that we're talking about, but there's a shift. And because we pulled that one, uh, 0110 angel card, I do feel like their belief systems could be holding you back from trusting. Okay, so that's an uh, obstacle or challenge for you during this time frame. Um, and then we have uh, where you're headed is the world. So we have the world double time. We just pulled the world here. So life is changing. There is um, a spiritual upgrade, a graduation, if you will. The, inf the possibilities are endless and infinite. Okay, so I feel like you may be feeling... Uh, get to a point where you're feeling a sense of freedom that's coming up, that something is completed, um, and you're feeling whole and complete in this moment. You're receiving some sort of closure from something, or like I said, ending a cycle for some of you. Okay, so this card is also about a sense of belonging, which can make which makes me feel that you probably need to open, you need to um, get your root 
slash base chakra in alignment as well. Okay, if you've been feeling out of sorts. We have the four of pentacles and the chariot coming up. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, ch energy, chariot, cancer energy. All right, so let's see uh, what is, uh, what's up with this energy of where you're headed. I feel like this may be an opportunity for you to, I'm feeling expressing more. I'm also feeling like if we're talking about finances, you're able to uh, save, build some sort of security as, as well. Um, but I, I'm feeling more of some of you have been holding back and now you're going to be feeling freer. You're going to be able to move past what it is you have been holding on to. That four of pentacles, the chariot is about like, let's go. Okay, this card is about success. It's about moving forward. It is about you in your confidence, building that inner warrior within you. So um, I do feel like this is an action, like you taking a step towards letting go of what you have been holding on to, letting go of this belief system when it comes to, uh, could it be your religion? Could it be the way that you have, could it be your relationship with money? The way that you treat your relationships, are you constantly in patterns and cycles? Are you constantly thinking negatively as well? That's coming up for, for some of you. And some of you are retreating. You're not fully expressing yourself. And then the issue is, is that your tongue becomes sharp and you trip over your words because you are unclear about how to articul articulate yourself when you get to a point of feeling anger, feeling intensity. So you just spew out things. Okay, so... This is offering you an opportunity to be able to step back and to figure out what it is that you've really been holding on to so that you can let that go and find some balance. Like I'm looking at the chariot. The sphinx are black and white. This is you. This is yin and yang energy. Finding some balance. So some of you have been in balance where you're completely in your feminine energy or you're completely in your masculine energy and you need a touch of both. Both. Okay. You need to find balance. But I feel like you're, in, you're headed towards building something new. Like you move from the four of pentacles to the chariot, I mean, that's winning. That is 100% winning, okay? Building and rebuilding for some of you, okay? So that is where you're headed during this time frame. Uh, what is happening in your near future? We have the sun here, and I like this energy for you here, Libra, because it definitely feels like you have been... <laughs> You've been through it. You've been you you've been knocked down. You've been you picked yourself back up. You're re, you, things have crumbled. You have rebuilt, and it's just like an ongoing cycle of falling, getting back up, falling, getting back up. So I feel like this sun energy is about you birthing something new. Is where it's coming into your near future. You really restoring the confidence that some of you never had, and some of you lost it due to circumstances that has occurred for you to you. And I do, I do feel like the universe, the universe um, did this for you so that you can be in this position now to feel enlightened and to feel a sense of enthusiasm about life, to be able to speak your truth, to be in your happiness, and to rebuild your confidence, okay? So in your near future, I'm feeling a sense of optimism that's coming up for you because you're going to be feeling like yourself. And even if it's not something that you've ever felt before, you're going to be restoring parts of yourself that have been lost when you came into this earth, when you came onto this earth. Okay, so you're going to be lifting that veil, so to speak, and really stepping into your truth, stepping into your the essence of who you are at your core. And it's going to feel so beautiful and magical. And no one can tell you anything. Okay, these three cards fell out of the deck. We have the Temperance, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles coming up for you. So let me see, let me feel into this energy here. I'm hearing, I'm not letting anyone get away with bullshit. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing from this, okay? I'm hearing from this temperance in this, uh, the seven of, the seven of swords. So I, I definitely feel like, you know, <laughs> BS is not your friend anymore, okay? No one can, can get over on you. You're pouring into yourself because that is most important here. Sagittarius energy, you could have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart or, um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but I'm feeling like this is energy that you're embodying. And this is this is letting me know like to be patient, to um, do things in moderation, to heal yourself, okay? Call on your guardian angel because your your guides are always there supporting you and 
for some of you who have been in that again that lot that logical analytical mindset you have shut off your intuition okay so i'm do i'm feeling uh, i'm i'm hearing steadfast okay moving steadfast or something i can't make out what spirit is trying to say stead something steadfast and, and maybe this is what i was saying in the beginning that there is a momentum that um you're creating or that is uh taking place right now with all of the planetary shifts and this is an opportunity for you to take advantage of things moving quicker than they were so for you healing no we can't rush healing but this is an opportunity for it to move quicker than it would have if you if you continue to put it off yeah you're going to have more uh there's going to there's going to be more that compiles on top of what you are what you're already experiencing but this is an opportunity to shed the layers quicker so it feels all it feels like it's all intentional that's what it feels like so this page of pentacles is like letting me know i feel like this is a spirit working behind the scenes and like um i feel like a like i just feel like you're shifting emotionally and mentally and like you're just not taking you're not taking anyone's bs anymore that's what i keep coming back to like you're focusing on yourself you're focusing on your healing you're focusing on your journey renewing yourself finding meaning in your life focusing on um how you have to take care of you and, and practice self-restraint and moderation and avoiding uh, excess in your life because moderation is key but this is about you know you i mean meditating as well but you're finding ways to take care of you and i, I really love this energy because like i say i'm always i always say i'm an advocate for self-love and self-care it is very important because when uh, and I, my other phrase is when you're not good no one else is good but that's not in every case for for those of you that are single or maybe even living alone but at the end of the day give the focus is on you taking care of yourself pouring into yourself like you do other things in other people you're pouring into your job pouring into your children your family your friendships and you leave nothing for yourself so I feel like things are happening behind the scenes and there's an opportunity of a, a glow up that could be coming here for you. There could be a new spark, an idea for you. Like we said already with the Ace of Fire that was here, this page of Kent Pentacles is this energy of um, this creative ideas coming to fruition. And you are you you're now taking that in and trying to um, manifest that into your physical paradigm so these are opportunities that are coming up some of you are developing new skill sets but you're finding a, a fire and desire within you you're craving a new adventure okay so um, I'm also hearing too with the page of uh, Pentacles you don't need to share everything that you're doing or everything that you're thinking or feeling with everyone okay so be very be very objective in who you share um, your information with or i should say selective not objectives be selective in who you share your information with so that's what's happening in your near future here and then we have your advice for the for this month the nine of swords okay so some of you have been feeling the anxiety that has been coming up and some of you are feeling those of you that are tapped in tuned in to your intuition to that psychic side the empathic side of yourself you're you've been drained from the things that you've been picking up from people the things that you're watching the things that you're thinking about nightmares are coming up so um i i definitely feel like there's some insomnia that it could be that could have been going on for some of you and you're probably still experiencing that as well which is like a mental anguish with a stress that is coming up for you um Spirit is asking you to rest. Easier said than done, but it is time for you to rest, Libra. And rest doesn't mean that you don't take care of your responsibilities. It's just, it means self-care and self-love. What, what can you do to restore your energy? And I feel like what the temperance is like reminding you to restore your energy. We have the Hierophant here and then the Eight of Wands. Okay. So I'm almost I'm almost feeling from this too. Not almost. I'm also feeling from this too. Some of you are um, <laughs> you're communicating with someone, and it's probably late night. 
which is also, you know, draining your energy too, because I feel like you're not on a, you're not on a consistent sleep schedule. So your, your hours, your sleep hours could be all over the place, or maybe you're a night owl, night, night owl. But I do, I do feel like you're talking to someone, you're working through things, you're communicating or you're researching, you're doing something um, at night that is really intense as well. That's what I'm feeling like when you're done doing this, it's hard for you to power down because it's a lot. And maybe some of you are on social media late, you know, we that blue light, okay? It's not even just the blue light because I turn my blue light off on my, uh, on my phone and I do dark screens with every dark mode with everything at the end of the day that light is still addicting okay you want to be on TikTok and you know Instagram and all of this doing all of these things um, and, and like I said you could be doing other things doing research in uh, you know uh, in the the wellness industry or the occult world and the mysterious world right you could be doing research on that but I do feel like it's a late night thing and it's hard to it's hard to power down after that so if you find yourself doing these things and maybe this is the only time in the day that you can do it you know maybe you can finish this off with like a guided meditation a sleep meditation so that you could fall asleep because i feel like a lot of ideas are going and you get excited like it feels intense and you're very passionate about it which is why i'm feeling like some of you are staying up late because it's like it's a lot of information and it's exciting and you want to keep going but it's also information overload and then your brain can't power down Okay, so that's what I'm feeling from this energy um, with this Nine of Swords. Okay, so your advice is to, you know, prioritize, get some rest, <laughs> do things in moderation, turn off that light or turn off the phone, put it in your nightstand. But if you have to be on your phone you if, and it, things are intense, maybe finish this off with a guided meditation so that you can fall asleep. So, Or you can also do um, brain waves that will help you fall asleep as well. But you definitely need to get on more of a consistent sleeping pattern. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing here. All right, so your final outcome is the lovers. And maybe it's because some of you are talking to someone a late night. You're talking to someone who lives in a different time zone. Okay, <laughs> that's that could be happening for some of you, which is why you could be up um, late. Gemini energy here. But I definitely feel like this could be someone that you're connecting with. Or this could be, just be a new love for life that you're feeling. Okay. Uh, you're loving yourself, you're marrying yourself, you're like, you're your own soulmate, okay? So it could go both ways. Let's see what comes up. Let's clarify this. Why is the lovers here? Oh, this is a relationship. Two of cups and the page of swords. It's like puppy love. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. And it's a strong connection. So some of you are like in your teenage years, you're up all night falling asleep on the phone with this person. <laughs> I'm just seeing a vision of that. Like you're falling asleep with this person, whoever this person is. Um, but I feel like someone has, you know, piqued your interest and you're at this place where you're excited again about life. You're excited to date. You're excited about love. You're excited about connecting, coming together um, and, and, you know, just building. So maybe for some of you, this is what you're doing. You're building this. Maybe you're not just rebuilding yourself. You're rebuilding a relationship or building a new relationship with someone. But whoever this is, there's a very strong connection because the lovers, this is clarifying, the lovers as well as the two of cups, double confirmation that there. this is a soulmate, soul bond, a strong bond that you have with this person. Um, your energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could even be a, a Leo or a Gemini. Um, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the sign. But this is a very, very strong connection you have, the magician. Okay, so you're trying to make magic with this person, whoever this is. Okay, I feel like you're trying to combine your lives in some sort of way, which is probably why this Hierophant is here too, because you're talking about building your relationship your morals, your values, you know, how do you want to, you know, do you want to have children? Do you, you know, what's your, what's your end goal? How can we be on the same page? Can we move towards that goal together? There's a lot that is, that is happening here. Okay. So maybe some of you are in a position where, you know, you're falling off with someone and you're, and you're building something with someone else. So the energy can be all over the place at this point. 
okay? And if some of you are in that position, you may feel a little foggy. You may become a little bit resentful. Um, but this is why I'm at, Spirit is asking you to sort of pull back, take some time to yourself, self-love, self-care, quiet time, so that you're not saying the wrong things. Because I don't feel like you're intending to hurt someone, Libra. But I, I also feel like you being quiet can hurt them and you having a sharp tongue can hurt them. So you got to pick one. <laughs> That's what I feel. Okay, so that final outcome is someone could be coming into your life or they're already in your life and you're talking about building. Okay, and that is that is just what's on the forefront for you. It's just building something with this person or building a business or continuing to build your business or building up yourself. But I do feel a very, very beautiful energy that is coming from this. And remember to work on your confidence, self-love, your self-worth. That is very important. And work through your fears is very, very important. So focus on your solar plexus uh, during this this time frame. And you can also do meditations for chakra balancing, guided meditations for that as well, okay? So that is your reading, Libra. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed any part of this reading, please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like the setup of this reading or if you want to change anything. Um, good luck in this upcoming month with all of the things that you're building and rebuilding. I'm excited for you, but remember to take time to yourself. I'll see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light to you. Peace.